A lot has happened since the first World AIDS Day in 1988. Countries where the topic was once taboo now offer testing and treatment. Mothers with HIV can have healthy babies and live to raise them. Drugs can keep the virus from spreading. And now, scientists are talking about vaccines and a cure. Researchers are injecting thousands of volunteers in South Africa with a potential vaccine in a trial that just got underway. They are also trying to use the body's own immune system to keep the virus in check. One study conducted by the University of Pennsylvania shows that this may be possible. We infuse antibodies in, uh, in, into the patients, the participants in the study, and we want to see if those antibodies would control the HIV virus, would keep it quiet and prevent the virus from coming back when we stop antiretroviral therapy. Dr. Pablo Tibas spoke by Skype. The research in controlling HIV with antibodies is similar to the immunotherapy being done in the field of cancer. The technique uses proteins to attack cancer cells. HIV hides in the cells. If a patient stops taking anti-AIDS drugs, the virus comes back. When you think about oncology and cancer therapy with these immune-based therapies, what, you, what people are doing now, now in that field is to try to boost the immune system to eliminate the cancer cells. The problem of eliminating the HIV hideout is similar. You want to eliminate the cells that harbor the virus that, uh, and by, leashing, by making the immune system more active in finding and eliminating those cells. Researchers have found that the antibodies suppress to the HIV virus for 21 days. The goal is to find a combination of antibodies that can suppress the virus for six months to a year. Then people infected with HIV will no longer have to take medicine every day for the rest of their lives. A new trial using two antibodies should start in the next couple of months. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.